joining me now is Nick Krzuki. Um How are you doing, Nick? Doing well, Sam. So right. what, what's your role with Sober Grid? Um, I am uh, the chief financial officer. I also support with uh, operations uh, for uh, the company reporting into Bo. And so how did you, how did you get involved with Sober Grid? Well, I knew that uh, Bo had been kicking around this idea for quite some time. Uh, last summer, uh, he had uh, started working on it, uh, had put together a team, got some uh, seed capital, and would, uh, started work on, on the app itself. And uh, you know, I got involved a couple months, a uh, couple months later, um, as he started to uh, get closer to the point of uh, releasing it uh, to uh, to uh, the app stores. So we're going to actually go to the the website to kind of walk through. So someone's actually going to SoberGridApp.com and they have an Android device. What do, what do they do? Sure. They can uh, select either if they have an iPhone, they can select the Apple Store. If they have an Android device, they can uh, download it from the Google Play Store. Okay. And then when you actually click on the Google Store, you kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And so what, what you see featured here okay. are a couple key uh, functionalities of the app. Uh, the first being the uh, the GPS locator. So you can find individuals who are uh, nearby you within your proximity, other sober people part of the, uh, the sober grid community. Um, and this uh, functions wherever you are in the world. Um, you can use it to find somebody uh, overseas or anywhere in the U.S. Well, it looks like you already have a lot of models <laughs> signed up already. <laughs> yes, yes, and, and uh, you know there are some very good-looking people on the grid. I will say that. Um, uh, but of course, you know there's uh, it's it's all inclusive. Uh, sober grid's really for anyone who's who's sober, uh, whether they're in a 12-step program or not. You know the age is 17 to 103. Uh, male, female, uh, regardless of uh, your background, gender, socioeconomics, it's, it's, it's really for everyone. All right, so looking here, it says uh, 4.5 stars. That's pretty amazing, uh, like for reviews already. That, that's, that's awesome. And you look, you look at um, what they're saying here, been searching for a social app like this, still trying to get used to it. And I'm a skeptical person, but so far, so good. So you're getting great reviews. That's awesome. Now, as far as like you, we talked a little bit before about the opioid crisis in Massachusetts, which is a huge deal for Spare Change News because a lot of our readers are have been touched by someone either their loved one has passed or someone's struggling with opioid opioid addiction. Tell me about your experience with that. Sure. Um, well, as you know, opioid is um, I think it's an underreported and and it's it's uh, underreported uh, you know enormous problem in, in Massachusetts. There have been more individuals who've lost their lives to opioid overdose uh, than in Afghanistan and Iraq combined. Um, it's underreported. I think it's largely ignored, um, but it's a, real, a very real crisis right now. Uh, my own brother uh, is, is, uh, suffers from, from opioid addiction as well um, and has, has struggled with it, so it's hit my family as well. Um, I, I believe that Sober Grid will help those who are trying to get sober, newly sober, those that are trying to turn a new leaf and, and uh, you know, escape the confines of, of opioid addiction um, by getting much needed support. You know, I got sober myself um, by engaging support from other sober people and I feel that Sober Grid will be a great tool to help those people get sober as well. And we have some members of the sober grid community who are already on day one, two, three, and are you know giving us feedback, saying thank you so much for helping me through these, you know, these very early days. And as Bo had mentioned, you know, we, we believe sober grid is going to save lives. Now, I just want to stress that like, this is not um, affiliated with any 12-step program. So it's like you have all different types of people that are dealing with different types of addictions. Is there any, like, is it is it working out that it, it's a tool to help, say, someone who's uh, recovering from heroin versus someone who's an alcoholic? I think fundamentally, although Servergrid is not allied or affiliated with any 12-step program, uh, there's certainly a, a significant proportion of uh, our, our community that are from those programs. And so Silver Grid does a really great job of, of keeping those programs uh, anonymous, but also allowing the culture of recovery to really take hold. And that culture is one addict or alcoholic helping another. Yeah. And that making that connection with another sober person is really the foundational cornerstone of all 12-step programs. And whether it's alcohol or other substances, uh, Silver Grid is, a, is, is an avenue for people to connect um, regardless of their of their substance of, of abuse, um, and whether they have one day or multiple years, 
um, it's that same level of support and connectedness that really allows individuals to sustain and, and maintain their sobriety. What I like about it is it's sort of a, it's a healthy alternative uh, to say using another type of app online to connect to say like your sponsor or to other friends in the community. So it's sort of like it's based on like it's the focus is recovery as, as opposed to like meeting somebody or dating, um, which I've seen that's kind of a like prevalent in um, in other apps I've seen online. Now, do you do you feel like um, there's also some in regards to, some issues in regards to uh, online addiction? Are you are, are any addressing people who are maybe addicted to online apps? <laughs> I don't think we've really hit that one. And and you know, although Sober Grid provides of an avenue for people to connect and and maintain their sobriety, there's a lot more to it. Yeah. You know, it is. It is social interconnectedness with individuals who have a common experience, and that's that's a strong, strong uh, positive uh, aspect to the app. the The other thing too is we we have content, um, original you know content from our from our members, as well as shared content and articles related to health and fitness and and other other aspects. Where we also have a lot of funny, uh, you know, comedic material that we're also rolling out through the news feed. So. You know, there's more to Sober Grid than just the bare um, functionality of, of connecting sober people. That's the foundation, and that's certainly our mission. Um, but we want to make it a fun place, a destination, a place where people can go to check in, see their friends, make new friends. And, you know, it's not a dating app, but if two individuals happen to meet up who like each other and, and start a relationship, then that's just wonderful. I, I actually think about, when I think of Sober Grid, I think of sort of like Facebook for sober people. And that's, I think, Sam, really uh, something that we've gotten a lot of feedback from our, our, uh, our members in that they, they don't feel like they can be on Facebook and be sober and be open about their, you know, their struggles and their sobriety. Um, and that's a real barrier. Um, there are some groups within s Facebook that are uh, restricted groups with only members who are sober, but, but it, it's not an open, open thing where, where individuals can get on sober grid and you're surrounded by people who are sober. So there, there's sort of like this idea of letting your hair down and relaxing that they can't do on any other app. Well, you talked about humor and having fun. So we, uh, we actually have our um, 23rd anniversary Spare Change News. It's going to be at the Nerd Center tomorrow from 6 to 9. Our keynote speaker is Jimmy Tingle, who's a comedian. You like Jimmy Tingle. I, I actually got an email from Jimmy today uh, thanking me. I wrote a column about Jimmy last week because he and I worked together uh, years ago. And I'm really excited about the event. Uh, we also have our upcoming cover, uh, which you're going to be in the next edition. You and uh, Bo are going to be in. Uh, Spare Change News coming out this Friday, and we have a sneak peek of the cover. Ta da! We have Weird Al Yankovic is our upcoming story, so it should be kind of a riot. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be in the Weird Al Yankovic story. And also, just to kind of give you an idea, this is our current edition of Spare Change News. Jimmy Tingle is on the cover of Spare Change News. So, Nick, any closing thoughts? Like, what do you want people to take away from, from this? experience and from sober grid well i i think if i could ask one thing is to just um you know give give the app a try if you are sober certainly check it out give it a shot engage with the community it's a great way to give back for those of us who've been sober for uh many 24 hours um but and also that it's it's a global it's a global sober community and it's a community that i feel will grow and expand and, and there's a lot of great things that'll be going on with Silver Grid coming down uh, coming down the road in the next few months and, and, and years as well. So um, you know the takeaway is um, you know if you know somebody who's struggling, have them you know have them check out the app and um, and if you're sober yourself, give it a shot. It's uh, we'd love to have you in the community. So again, just for um, for our viewers to be able to download, you need to go to uh, SoberGridApp.com. We're going to go back to the interface. And either go to um, the Google Play Store or to the iPhone Play Store. So again, SoberGridApp.com. Any any other like where do they go for online? Is there a Facebook community as well? Like what what other social media do you guys have? Sure, we're on uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram. Uh, so we have uh, a presence on all of the major social media platforms. Uh, type in Sober Grid, uh, and you could certainly find us like us and uh, certainly uh, would appreciate your support. 
And of course, you can always go to sparechangenews.net. We're gonna have a link to Sober Grid.